What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Pull up in your town. Upon further view, what'd you see last night that you liked? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, there were some really good plays out there, uh, really in all three phases. Uh, but it just didn't happen consistently enough. You know, there were some there were some big plays uh, in the past game where we we created some explosives off our play action game. There were some there was a couple good runs, but unfortunately, a couple of those got negated by holding penalties. And then defensively, um, you know, we had the one turnover, which was great, but um, you know. It just it didn't happen consistently enough where we where we were getting the positive play after positive play, and it, it really goes back to the whole the whole eleven approach. You know, ten guys can do their job right, and if one guy doesn't, the play could turn to not being a good play. And then the hold on to Jenkins is that just uh, he's just got to as soon as that back gets to that side, he's just got to disengage. Wh which one are you talking about? Because yeah, I, I don't I honestly don't remember. If it was First one, the second one, there was the run, you know, that got outside of him. Yeah, the one on De with Dexter. Yes. Yeah, you know, he was his, he had his hands inside, and he did a really nice job. And as soon as that ball cut right back behind him, you could see just a little tug of the jersey. And a lot of times it doesn't get called, but it did. And so it is what it is. Yeah, you just got to, at that time, at that point in time, try to get more into that block, I would say. Uh, I talked to Elton about that one. Um, but the other one that they called on him, it, it was not on him. It was, I think they got the number wrong. And Matt, for, for those of us that didn't travel, we're watching you on your post game. You've been so even keeled with us. Is it fair to say that you, that was as irritated as you've been the way you were kind of after the game? Like you still, I don't know what you're talking about, Jason. <laughs> Not a ranter and a raver. I'm just wondering when you're irritated, kind of what do you like, and then how what do you how do you channel that into something more productive? Obviously. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I would say there was I was a little more frustrated after after uh, last night's game, but it's just because I know we're capable. I know we're capable. They've sh we've shown it. We've shown some flashes of some really good stuff. It's just it, again, it, it just keeps coming back to the consistency. How well. Can we repeatedly do something? And um, I mean, that's that's what you got to do in order to stop people and in order to score points. You got to you got to put together uh, long stretches of good, solid, fundamental football. And I, I I also thought that you know by and large, I thought they were more physical as as a as a team last night in um, in Baltimore, and that's a credit to them. And um, that we we need to step up a little bit. Ty, at least from the press box, Ty seemed pretty visibly frustrated with himself on the field after tackles that he missed. How do you get a rookie to, to forget that and move past those? Yeah, you just, the only way I know how to do that is you got to go back to work. And, you know, he did miss, he, did, he missed too many tackles. He's in position to make the tackle. He's got to finish. He's got to run his feet on contact. He's got to wrap up. And I lost count at about 17 or 18 missed tackles last night. What did you, what, what did you add, and what do you got to do to, you know, get that figured out? Yeah, we had 19. So, um, you know, I, I I think it it comes back down to the practice. I think we're gonna, we really have to concentrate and have a more concerted effort on thudding up and trying to stop the runner's feet. Um, because I still don't believe in taking to the ground. I just, uh, it's not worth, it's the risk reward is, is not, it's not worth it to me. And I think that's true with a lot of coaches throughout the league. Matt, what's your MO after a game? Are you watching the film on the flight back right away and already kind of taking stock? Is that how you Yeah, so I watched, you know, I, I really, I, I sat um, with Nathaniel Hackett and, we watched the offense together, uh, and then I then I went through the special teams and I buzzed the defense quickly because I sat this morning and with the defense, and then I went and saw Sean, 
and, and sat with him with some of the special team stuff. What did, what did you see when you looked at your run game early? I, you don't have Aaron, you don't have Jamal, so I don't know how fair it is to, but you did have your starting offensive line. What did you, what did you think went less than ideal there? Uh, yeah, it just it, it it was it was a struggle to get us going a little bit. Um, you know, we tried some different stuff and with the, some of the, the the toss crack scheme where, you know, again, it, if one guy doesn't do their job right, the whole play gets blown up. So um, we need all eleven on every play, and that's what that's what we keep stressing to the guys, and and really a lot of the the. You can set the tone with with the receivers in the run game, and I've said that before. And we need we need more from them in, in that area as well. So it's not just one guy in particular; it's 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 collectively. You mentioned the consistency in the flashes. So what's the balance there? Where I imagine on one hand it's like, well, we're, they're all practicing, but it's the first game reps for some of these guys. So what? I guess should it matter that that your starters didn't play at all against Houston, but they've been practicing, so it should have been crisper. Like, what's kind of the balance there of, of recognizing inconsistency, but maybe not having played enough? To get yeah, no, I, I thought our starters, to be honest with you, that, that the first two drives, we moved the football. I, we, you know, we, we had a batted ball on third and four where we had Gmo coming open on a choice route. He, I mean, he was there. Um, I think... You know, batted balls are always a, a a difficult thing to answer sometimes in terms of, you know, you always go back, okay, did we have up front, did we have hands on the defender that, that batted the ball? Um, did the quarterback throw on time? And I thought just looking at that one, I thought the only thing that Deshaun might have been able to do a little bit better is be better with his eyes initially. But sometimes those are those happen, you know, Sometimes you got to give credit to the defense as well. And then on the fourth down, you know, we hesitated just a touch going to Devontae, and he, he, you know, he threw a high ball there. So, and then the second drive, you know, we moved the ball all the way down and we got into the red area. And I think we were, um, it, was, it was first and 10, we ran a shallow cross where we had Jimmy coming across the field and we missed him. I, I thought he was open. And, Deshaun flushed the pocket instead of, even if he said no to Jimmy, he should have gone to a second read and then his third read, and he had Marquez open on the left-hand side. Um, but instead he flushed the pocket, and we lose three yards there. So on second down, we come with a, a play where we got two options, and we, we, we missed the check. So we, we should have been running the ball downhill. Instead, we tried one of those crack tosses, and we lose four yards. And so then you get down in third and long, and that's that's tough sledding. What's the plan for Aaron this week? Will he practice sun, since Sunday? Yeah, practice? that's the plan. But you know, a lot of it's going to be predicated on how he feels. How does he feel now? I think he feels better, but um, you know, we'll see Sunday. <laughs> I don't want to uh, disparage the good people of Canada when I ask this. But that's, I mean, it's not an NFL field. It's, I think it's field turf. Do you have any reservation if that's going to be his work that you're going to have him go up to Winnipeg and play? Is there any concern there at all about that? No, we'll, we'll, we'll evaluate the surface before we, obviously before we play the game. Matt Klein's going up there a couple days early, so he'll, he'll be able to evaluate it as well. And uh, we, it seems like it's a relatively new stadium, so it looks pretty nice. But um, I guess until we get there, we won't know. You know, we, we've talked a lot about missed tackles on defense, but um, by my account, you, you've enforced many missed tackles either on offense. Um, is that something you can drill, or how do you how do you improve on that, or, or you just need to get your guys back, like Devontae and Aaron, that'll kind of fix things? Yeah, I hope that I hope so. <laughs> um, no, it's just yeah, we talk about that as far as running in the open field and, and trying to – it's hard if you go to – if you got somebody in the open field and you really break down, pursuit's coming and they're going to tackle you. It's, it's more of a slashing mentality. Can you make those – just like we use in the run game, can you, can you run full speed, take one cut, and just slash and try to make a guy miss? So that, that's how you, you, you really try to 
drill it and, and talk about it when you get in those team situations. Going back to Aaron for a sec. So you said, you know, you'd like him to play. It's not necessarily imperative. What are, we all know the risks of him playing. What are the benefits in, in your mind as, a, as his play caller and his head coach and he's in a new system? What are, what are all the things that he would benefit from playing the game? Yeah, I just think those guys all going out together, um, you know, prior to, to the Chicago game, just to work any kinks out if we ha if there are any. Um, but just to try to get into a flow of a game, having, having him hear the play calls when he's actually the guy out there getting in and out of the huddle, which I thought he's, he's definitely helped stress that urgency to the other 10 in the huddle, I thought last week was better. So just, you know, but it's more or less just getting to getting into that flow. More Matt, um, no boot, are you free of that thing finally? For yeah, good? I'm, I'm trying to be. I told Flea, uh, I'm, not, I'm not wearing that boot this week, so we'll see. <laughs> well, I don't want to out you, but I did see Dr. Anderson last week, and he told my wife that she has to do a better job of listening to him than you do. So uh, <laughs> be careful. I've I've been pretty good up to this point. I, I just tell you, like, you're not used to standing for that period of time in that boot. By the end of the game, my heel is on fire, so I'm ready to get out of it. You've been so much about everybody has to earn things around here, playing time opportunities. What have Lazard and Shepard earned to this point? Because you do have some guys that have been here and were draft picks, but it would seem that those two guys have, have really competed well. Yeah, they have, they've done a great job. And I think you see it by the number of reps they're getting. Um, I saw, you know, Shep was starting at kick return and punt return. And so, and Allen's just done everything we've asked him to do. And he's not only on offense, but on special teams as well. So both those guys have done a really nice job. And I do think you, you have to reward guys for, for not only really good play, but, but the effort that they show on a daily basis. It, it's consistent with both those guys. And again, two smart guys that know what to do, and they're able to go out there and play fast. Do you see them being wide open right now? That yeah, there's, there's, there's competition at the receiver position. Um, that nothing's... There's nothing that's locked in place at this moment. What did you last night? I thought he did a nice job. I mean, the opening kick, he takes to the 40-yard line. I thought it was really blocked well. Um, you know, it's it's always comforting when you got somebody back there, both in kickoff returns, but also you know on the punt returns, where you're confident that he's going to take care of good care of the football. Any update on Kadar Holman? Yeah, I'll have an update for you guys on Sunday. So, I just love my team. Yeah, that's the team with them big G's on the helmet.